This is a tutorial for the Simone Crochet Poncho with Cowl Hood and Belt. This is a figure flattering and cozy poncho with many styling options, including a coordinating cowl slash hood and belt. These projects work up quickly with number five bulky weight yarn. You will need 2,030 yards of number five bulky weight yarn, an L11 or eight millimeter crochet hook, yarn needle and scissors. The sample shown is in Be So Easy yarn, my number five bulky weight, 100% milk cotton yarn in color raspberry. The sample shown takes 14 balls. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert the stitch pattern we worked in rows for the Simone Poncho into working in rounds to make the cowl or hood. We're going to start with a setup round of foundation ovals, but first we're going to tie our yarn to our crochet hook, square knot, slip knot, whichever works best for you. And in the setup round, it starts with a chain four, then a treble crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. This is your working loop, so we'll count back one, two, three, and four. Treble crochet is yarn over your hook twice. Insert your hook in the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. And yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. One foundation oval is complete. This is a foundation oval. We're going to do this nine more times for a total of 10. I'll show you one more, chain four and treble crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. Skip the working loop, count back one, two, three, and four. Yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, and yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Two foundation ovals done. You want a total of 10. Okay, this is what your work should look like at the end of the setup round. You should have 10 foundation ovals. We are going to slip stitch into the first foundation oval to begin our first round. So you could either slip stitch to join now, but we're going to do it at the beginning of round one anyway. So for round one, we're going to slip stitch into the first foundation oval and that joins everything in the round. You wanna make sure that you haven't twisted your ovals. You want them to lie flat at this point. And round one, slip stitch into the first oval, chain four, which counts as your first treble crochet, and work four treble crochets in that same oval. Treble crochet is yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We'll do that three more times. Okay, so the chain four and the four trebles count as our first set of five trebles. In the next oval, we're going to work two treble cluster, yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same oval, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. That's a two treble crochet cluster. Then chain two, and do another two treble crochet cluster in the same foundation oval. Chain two, and one more two treble crochet cluster in that same oval. Okay, so, in that oval, we worked two treble crochet cluster, chain two, two treble crochet cluster, chain two, and two treble crochet cluster. In the next foundation oval, we're going to work five treble crochets. And you want to repeat this all the way around. At the end of round one, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain four at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round one. Round two begins with a chain four, which counts as your first treble crochet, and work one treble crochet into each of the next four treble crochets.
chain three, single crochet in the next chain two space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain two space, chain three, and one double crochet into each of the next, or one treble crochet into each of the next five treble crochets. And you want to repeat this all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain four at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round two. Round three begins with a chain four, which counts as your first treble crochet, and one treble crochet into each of the next four treble crochets. Okay, then you want to skip the next chain three space and in this chain three space here we're going to work two treble cluster chain two two treble cluster chain two two treble cluster Then skip the next chain three space and work one treble crochet into each of the next five treble crochets. And you want to repeat this all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain four at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round three. This is what your work should look like at the end of round four. Round four is a repeat of round two. Round five is our increase round, and that's where we're going to give a little more flair to this cowl, which gives it the ability to fold over on itself and give you that really beautiful volume. So round five begins with a chain four that counts as our first treble crochet, treble crochet in the next treble crochet, then three treble crochets in the next treble crochet, then one treble crochet into each of the next two treble crochets, So we've gone from five treble crochets in this, this section to seven treble crochets in this section. Okay, we're going to skip the next chain three, and in the next chain three, work two treble cluster, chain two, two treble cluster, chain two, two treble cluster. This part of the pattern repeat is unchanged. like that and then it's one treble crochet into each of the next two treble crochets then three treble crochets in the next treble crochet then one treble crochet into each of the next two treble crochets And you want to repeat this all the way around. Okay, here is the finished cowl. And I wanted to show you that for rows 6 through 11, you're going to continue in the established pattern, working, alternating the rows of these treble crochet cluster petals with the chain three spaces. And where we did the five treble crochet columns, we're just now going to do seven treble crochets along there. So you want to continue in the established pattern through round 11, and then I'll show you how we finish up and add edging to this beautiful cowl. 
Okay, so round, round 12 is working a solid row of treble crochet all the way around so that we can get set up for our edging. And how we do that is with a chain four and one treble crochet, of that chain four counted as your first treble, and then one treble in each of the next six trebles. Okay, and then over this section here, we're going to work one treble in the next treble crochet cluster stitch, one treble in the next chain two space, one treble in the next cluster stitch, one treble in the next chain two space, and one treble in the next cluster stitch. Okay, so it's one treble in each of the next seven trebles, then one treble in the next cluster, one treble in the next chain two times two, and one treble in the next cluster. And you want to repeat that all the way around and slip stitch to join. Okay, and now we're ready to begin our final edging round, and this is the exact same as the edging round that we did around the perimeter of the poncho. It starts with a chain one and single crochet in the first stitch, chain four two treble crochet cluster in the side of the single crochet just made so it's yarn whoops yarn over twice insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over twice insert your hook in the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all three loops on your hook skip the next three stitches and single crochet in the next. I'll show you that one more time. And you wanna repeat that all the way around. At the end of your last repeat, you're gonna replace the single crochet with slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join and fasten off. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. Everything we talked about today, you can find as links in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.